Hi, this is Kim Callison. It is our expectation at the end of this course, you're going to be a stronger writer than you were when you started at the beginning of the course. In order to help you with that, we're going to offer some tips about the most important component of your written responses, the thesis statement. The thesis statement appears at the end of the first paragraph. It tells your reader what the essay is going to be about. If you're writing a persuasive paper, it makes your claim. And then finally, it's also known as the controlling idea or the central idea of your paper. It is by far one of the most important parts of writing. Think of the thesis statement as the prom. The prom's the main event. The thesis statement is the main event. Getting your hair done, getting a manicure and a pedicure, um, getting your face fixed, pinning the boutonniere on your date. Those are all supporting elements to the main event. And that's what the body paragraphs of your papers do. They will support your thesis statements. The thesis statement is your promise to the reader. Basically, you promise that you are going to speak on the importance of your topic, such as neutering dogs. And I'm not going to wander off and tell you about the dog that lives next door that likes to eat poison ivy. I'm going to stay focused on what my thesis statement is. The ABCs of the thesis statement. When writing a thesis statement, you want to make sure that you are being assertive, you're making your claim and you're making sure that you're very uh, specific about it. For example, Poe's miserable life is the perfect springboard for his macabre writings. Be an insider. Know what you're talking about when you write your paper. For example, Poe's use of alliteration, personification, and rhyme make the bells a delight in imagery. Make sure Finally, that you're very clear. Don't use big words in an attempt to be profound. In Poe's short story, The Black Cat, the police certainly should have been cognizant of the maladorous aroma emanating from the walls and permeating the nasal passages. Honestly, that just doesn't sound very natural for most students. So make sure that you're very clear in your language. Now for the do's and don'ts of the thesis statement. Always express the point of your paper. Death is the biggest theme of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Make sure that you always defend or refute your point. Edgar Allan Poe's fascination with death was based on his life. Always be very specific. Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven tells the story of a lost love. Be concise. An example of Gothic literature is The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. And lastly, make a statement. The figurative language used in The Raven adds to the suspense. Make sure you never do the following things. Never bifurcate. That's just a fancy word for divide in two. For example, don't say Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven is exciting, yet kind of sad. Another thing we don't want you to do when you write a thesis statement is don't describe your strategy. For example, don't say, I am now going to explain to you the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Make sure that you're not too wordy. For example, the claims to the contrary are bounteous with regards to the validity of the significance Poe placed on familial morbidity in his writing. That once again doesn't sound very natural and make sure that you never write a question. Question, have you under, ever wondered why Edgar Allan Poe always wrote about death? Take a look, at, a look at this prompt. Authors often create young protagonists who struggle against outside forces that are far more powerful than they are. Think about a novel you have read, any novel, or a movie you have seen with a young protagonist. Write an essay in which you analyze how this character's struggle highlights his or her positive characteristics. That is a prompt that you could use. Refer to the do's and don'ts of writing thesis statements as you look at this example. In Disney's The Lion King, Simba's inner strength 
courage, and natural leadership are demonstrated as he struggles to accept his identity. It has a point which can be defended. It is specific. It is concise. It has a strong verb, and it makes a statement. All things that we want in a thesis statement. Remember, an unclear thesis statement makes for unclear writing. Are we clear? Until next time.